All right, guys, what's up? It's your boy Miguel back again with another video. And now that the iPhone 15 is actually out, it looks like we're getting and having a few problems with it. And specifically talking about the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, the issue that we're finding is mostly with durability. And I should say, just before I get into the topic, that every year, uh, whenever a new iPhone comes out, there's always a small issue. There's good, people are going to find something and people are going to bitch about it. And uh, then it all goes away. But sometimes, there's just one of those issues that actually sticks. And uh, going back to how the iPhone uh, 6 actually had the bend gate issue where it actually bended, and that was done by uh, Luke from uh, Unbox Therapy. So I think this is kind of one of those issues which is going to stick with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And this has to do with the durability because Apple is now using a new material. We are seeing titanium being used for the first time in an iPhone. So people are obviously going to be curious as to how much titanium there is and how durable is it really and all of this started with jerry rig everything jerry is an amazing youtuber who actually does an unboxing and tear down of the phone from the inside out so he actually gives you a full review and tells you whether if a company is claiming something is it actually true now jerry did an unboxing of an iphone 15 pro max and uh, one of the highlights was how much titanium is actually in an iphone because titanium is a very expensive metal and depending on the grade it's going to be more expensive the grade 5 titanium is probably one of the most expensive types of titanium because this is the same one that's being used in space missions and the mission to mars and all that stuff so this is a quite an expensive metal and he kind of estimated that if you want to use a titanium uh, sheet that would turn out into a block or a frame of titanium equivalent to the size of an iPhone that would be worth around two thousand dollars so immediately the question was does the iPhone really have that much titanium is Apple selling the iPhones at a loss what's what's the deal here and uh, the next thing was the durability test because the iPhone now he does a bend test on each video so just to see how strong the glass actually is and with his bare hands he was able to break the iPhone 15 Pro Max like not even a lot of force so it's it's kind of uh, it kind of then raises a lot of uh, questions and a lot of eyebrows because he was equally shocked and he actually mentioned in the video that he did not see that coming it wasn't something that he was expecting to see the iPhone actually break that easily now I should also mention uh, Sam from Apple Track also did another video and I think he is the first one to do a durability test because he flew to Australia to get an early hands-on on the iPhone 15 Pro. He also got an iPhone 14 Pro to kind of test both of them side by side and by the end of that video I'm going to put the links to both of these channels Jerry Rig Everything and also Sam from Apple Track so that you can see that uh, all credit goes to them I'm not trying to you know use their video for anything uh, but the, the the purpose of the video is, is kind of just to highlight this issue that that's coming out and uh, in that video if you see by the end if you see the conclusion you can see that the iPhone 14 was actually still a solid piece of phone and it was all in one piece and the iPhone 15 Pro Max was actually breaking into pieces the camera actually came off and so, so again the question is is it actually as durable is this because titanium is a stronger frame it's more rigid it has to do with the phone breaking more easily it's it's uh, it, there's a lot of theories in mind now talking about how much titanium is actually used on the iPhone 15s and again Jerry rig everything uh, thanks to him we can actually tell how much titanium there is so he actually cut the phone in half with a saw and uh, we were able to tell that uh, uh, there was titanium use so Apple is correct and and again there's no doubt that the new frame is a titanium but how much is there actually because the question was are they really using two thousand dollars worth of titanium which I know the answer is no it's obvious but then how much are they actually using because the phones were not expensive or they were not uh, more uh, priced higher than the previous iPhones so it, it immediately you, you start asking the questions and you can see in the video that he shows us a cross section of the iPhone so you can see part of the aluminum fusion that's done with the titanium and you can see that both of them are equally thick so the thickness of both of them is, is pretty equal so you can see the aluminum being fused you can see the different colors and you can see that the titanium the thickness of it according to Jerry is just one millimeter thick which according to his calculation that's only $30 worth of grade 5 titanium so I should also mention that the inside of the phone so there is titanium on the inside frame as well 
but the inside frame is actually not grade 5 titanium. I think it's only grade 2 and only the shell, the outside of it is uh, grade 5 titanium. So there's only uh, $30 worth of that, which honestly is, is nothing at all. So, I mean, we all were thinking that titanium being a more expensive metal, the phone was going to be more expensive. But the question is, has Apple really used enough titanium or have they actually skimmed on it to make a cheaper phone that they can claim is made of titanium? So were, was this all done just so that they could be the first in the market to have a titanium made phone? And was it not really tested out? Was it not durable? The question again is, is, is really, I think it's, it's, uh, uh, it's baffling me. But the main thing is actually the glass because he actually was able to break the glass on the back, which according to Apple has a stronger glass. It's made, it, it has a ceramic shield and all of that stuff. And they claim that each year the phone gets stronger. So I'm not saying it's not strong, but breaking it with your bare hands is kind of surprising. Now he did the same thing with the iPhone 15 Pro, the 6.1 inch version, and it didn't happen to that. So the glass on the back didn't break with only his bare hands. So you start wondering, is this an issue only with the iPhone 15 Pro Max? And uh, are all the other phones okay? Um, well, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I just wanted to do this video to kind of highlight on, on this issue that looks like it's going to become a bigger issue in the future. I think we'll just have to wait and see if there are other reports of people uh, having their phones shattered at the lightest drop and uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens but yeah guys let me know your thoughts let me know if this is something that uh, uh, you think apple did on purpose uh, and i'm not gonna see on purpose but do you think that they actually skimped on the amount of titanium that should have been used because according to jerry if it's true that there was only 30 dollars worth of titanium that's honestly not any not not at all i mean the, 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 it's really not much in my opinion when you have a phone that costs twelve hundred dollars out of twelve hundred dollars only thirty dollars worth of so that's kind of uh, a big issue in my in my opinion but let me know your thoughts let me know your comments let me know what you think about this and uh, one more thing talking about the durability we are waiting for an iphone 15 pro max that we will drop test we are getting the phone today so you, you can expect that video sometime in the next coming days uh, but yeah guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out